These are their stories. Hello. Hey guys. Um, the purpose of this video, or whatever, is just to update you guys on what's been going on and show you some of the little things I've been working on. Yes. So, I don't know. Well, no. You. YouTube, my YouTube fam, you guys haven't seen it, but, um, I recently got back into the making the jewelry stuff, and, um, I did a chain for my son, and it's made of clay, and I like it, it's really cool, so I was like, Psh, I want one, hello, <laughs> so, yeah. I came up with this and it has a smell so I had got some um, those scented uh, essence oils I'll take a picture of the bottle and um, put it in the video and mixed some of it with my glaze and that's how I got it to be scented this is like another little chain piece I made. Got two glazed donuts and a cannoli. <laughs> this is like glow in the dark. This plate glows in the dark and I just dusted some gold powder around it. It's really, really cool. Um, it's really fun. It's easy. And in this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys tips and tricks. So stay tuned. Okay. All right, so as far as the clay goes, um, this brand, Sculpey, I like this brand. This is the glow in the dark one. I got this while being up here in New York. I'm going to try to slide back by Michaels and see if I can grab some more. This was $2 at Michaels in the clay section. <laughs> um, this is the translucent. Sculpey. It's gonna kind of look whitish, but you gotta read it and make sure. I'm trying to find it for y'all. You have to read it and make sure it says translucent because if not, you'll just be getting a big white one, and yeah, that kind of defeats the purpose. Because with the translucent, it's kind of I don't know, but it's like easier to mix and stretch with the other colors. Like if you want to stretch your other colors or make them lighter. That's a good way to do it with the translucent. Um, actually, I used the translucent clay for this body part of the chain and um, just colored over it with some loose powder and glaze. Um, aside from my personal powders that I had already, like my glow in the dark that I use for my acrylic for my nails, To color your polyclays, you'll need pastel chalk or whatever. It's going to come in a little box. I actually numbered mine so it'll make it easier. I don't know if you guys can really see that. Make it easier for me to keep up with whatever. I'll explain that in another video. But anyway, so you get your colors. I think it's like 36. You get your colors or whatever. And to use it. You're going to want to take a razor blade or an X-Acto knife. With the X-Acto knife, there's two ways you can shave off some chalk. You can either use this part or you can just use the blade. And you're going to want to angle it like this and kind of just shave it off and let the chalk fall down. Um, with these donuts because these are my second set of donuts with those donuts i had made them first then before baking them i shaded them i did a little video showing you guys the colors i used i'll um yeah make that a whole nother video but anyway so i used those two colors shaded it then baked it OMG, I like the results way better because 
yeah it looks way better the dry powder on the moist clay then bake then glaze to get the glaze donut effect without me having to use liquid clay I took some of the glaze with a toothpick layer 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 layer, layer. but you're gonna kind of get all that juicy stuff in the other video so this is the exacto knife I got this from Walmart they have it at Michaels I think it's like probably about the same price like three anywhere from three to five dollars all right your dotting tools you're gonna need those that's these little things if you can get different sizes because they will come in handy tweezers you will need tweezers you can use these kind um, the ones I use mainly are these pointy ones and I have my little blade and then I also use a toothpick and an old toothbrush and also a little ball of aluminum foil for texturizing but it depends on the texture that you're trying to achieve for what tool you will use like with the the brick walls I just use the toothbrush for my cannoli I just use the toothbrush the donuts I actually didn't even give them any texture but they still look yummy <laughs> I didn't give them no texture um and uh, yeah I think that was it for this little video that I wanted to do for you guys um if you because um with with the glaze this gives off like a shiny look and it's like six dollars a jar now they have a matte one too a gla a glaze matte but if you don't want to do that then you can get mod podge matte and mix it with your shavings from the chalk to get the color i'll show you guys something i did using that for a method of coloring it's actually really good um but yeah as far as that goes this week sometime i'm going to bust out some diy videos i've been working on like these little night lights because like yeah i'm gonna do separate videos branching off explaining everything and breakdowns but for this specific video i just want to give you guys little tips and tricks that i learned with the poly clay and uh you know tools and blah 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 but you know only the creators will appreciate this so anyways stay tuned for my next video i love you guys create be awesome and try not to eat any of your poly clay makings because i swear they look so real and so yummy all right bye all right real brief <laughs> Since I found it, I'm like, I might as well just show y'all real quick. But yeah, this, I don't know if y'all can really see it. I'm going to try to see if I can take a picture of it. But this is like a bagel top that I did coloring with the dust and the matte Mod Podge. As opposed to coloring it well, before baking it with just the dry powder. I'm going to take pictures of it. Make sure y'all know that that's, that's the thing I'm talking about. I'm trying to see if I can, cause these nails, they just, they just want to be all in the camera. Illinois, they just want to be the superstar, but it's not about them right now. It's about these little poly treats. All right, but yeah. Okay, bye guys. I'm being weird right now. <laughs>